Hey guys, it's me, David, and welcome back to Building Crate Week 16, guys. Man, 16, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds like it's been a long time. That is, uh, that is quite a long time, actually. All right, guys, so this week we're gonna be working on the wall. Like I said last week, um, we had focused on, you know, the trenches and uh, we put down the salt pieces and kind of got a finalized idea of what the battlefield of crate's gonna look like. This week we're gonna work on that big wall behind us and you can kind of see the progress we're gonna do. Um, gives you a little hint at what we're gonna be working on in terms of over there. What we're actually gonna be focused on is less on the what you're seeing right now, but actually more internal structure. A lot of technic work, uh, a lot more stuff than you might uh, expect, I guess, for the wall. Um, and that's what we're gonna kind of focus on is internal structure building um, in this uh, segment, which doesn't sound the most, you know, exciting. It's not, you know, battlefields and stuff like that, like we were doing uh, last week, but it is an extremely important thing when you're building large mocks. A lot, I mean, a lot of people really tend to overlook it, the, overlook this. So I highly recommend you watch the whole video. It is very informative. Um, I actually give you guys some buying tips, like buying Lego uh, towards the end. So again, I, I really hope you uh, stick out through the whole video because I, I really try to share a lot of the, at least how I think about when I'm building Legos. Um, especially these big mocks and when you have to deal with a lot of uh, structure, weight and stuff like that and how to balance that. Um, that's kind of what we're gonna be talking about mostly in this segment. Um, towards the end, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm gonna talk about some buying tips, but we're also gonna look at uh, the mountain area and how that's gonna kind of be built. It's not gonna be built uh, how you would normally, I guess, build a mountain. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a different way of, of doing it. Um, so we'll talk about that towards the end, but without ado, let's go ahead and jump into the segment. I'm done talking here. Let's go guys. All right guys, so starting this week's crate segment off, as always, BrickLink orders come in, seems like every week now. Um, I did get a small BrickLink order, uh, more of the wedge uh, plates that we need for building the bunker here. However, not enough of them came. I think I've ordered like four separate orders of just these alone. Um, and the three others are still in the mail. I think I had ordered those internationally, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm not going to work on the bunkers today. Not in this segment. We'll work, probably work on them likely next time in the next segment. But that's okay. Because as I've been telling for the last like, week or two, we're going to get back to this. This, this area right here. We're going to build there and we're going to build this wall up. Like everything goes up. I'm serious. <laughs> um... So the first thing we're going to be doing back here, let me just get around it, is reinforcing this. Because right now, it's it's all just kind of being built. We made a fantastic uh, reinforced base, but now we need a, a reinforced middle section. And then these areas right here need to be reinforced as well. Right now, they're not really uh, at all. So all of this has to be reinforce on the sides here there needs to be a middle bar and then we can build up to the top height which is the goal for today uh, for today's segment is to finish this wall i don't know if we'll get to uh, finishing it perfectly because of this uh you know i told you guys about having like this center structure where all this weight's going to hang and you'll have this kind of a uh, beam that goes across here don't think we'll get that far but in terms of at least getting the height up and getting these reinforcements around it that will be one of the goals the other thing is to build at least a little bit here and oh, and at least a little bit over here as well um i, I want to try to get over here but i might just uh, build this up significantly more instead of this we'll see um but that is today's goal and uh, yeah, so this is this is hopefully not gonna quite double in size, but certainly it's gonna about two more of these. So this is uh, eight, or I'm sorry, four slopes, and it's gonna double to eight slopes higher up here. So that'll be the final height. So that's the goal is get to th get this wall like finished-ish looking, not necessarily finished itself, but almost to the point of that. Um, so without do, let's go ahead. I'm gonna take the wall down i'm going to put it over there so i can work on it more easily um and uh we'll see what happens so let's go guys all right guys so here is what i've been working on um now i don't it probably doesn't look like too much but this is a lot of intricate work what you're seeing here um 
So if we look a little closer, basically I have these uh, these Technic beams uh, kind of supporting the weight as it goes up and they're connecting to each other. So it's kind of like a chain that's going to feed up to this main bar that's going to be up here. Um, and then you can kind of see like this is three Technic bricks spanning over here. And I'm going to take another one of these these Technic bars and two more will go up like this and they'll go up and basically I'm connecting all of this into this hub right here and then I'm also supporting the side right here this is being supported by again more Technic rods um, so here 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 and then of course we're doing the next one and then there'll be another one here so it's just a matter of a lot of Technic work within the brick structure in order to support uh, uh, the sides. And this is only one side. I still have to do it to this side as well. So you can see the difference here. This is what this is what it was before, and this is what it is after. So quite a big difference, actually. Um, this is definitely already a lot sturdier. I can literally just hold it right here and pick up the whole wall. So it's already working exactly how I plan it to. Um, but the key thing now is uh, you're going to kind of see this, I think I'm going to do like an arch almost, because this is where the uh, uh, this this middle section is going to go over. Um, so you'll, you're probably see an arch, and that's what you'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to do right now. Um, but yeah, it, it's coming along. It's, it's looking good. I like the structure. Uh, there's definitely a lot of engineering involved in terms of making sure the weight is balanced and all that. But uh, a lot of trial and error, but it's working out pretty well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this, and then I'm going to start arching over and getting this whole beam going on, and then we'll do that side. So without ado, let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, so uh, now you're seeing some more progress, and you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm thinking here. So I've built this up again more, um, and I'm starting to arch it over, as you can see. Um, and then basically what I've done is this right here is kind of connecting all into this. So think of it this way that the, the weight's kind of coming up this way and it's kind of making this um, circular form. Um, so that way the weight here is kind of being uh, pushed down this way as well as here. Um, so it's, uh, when, when we have a beam coming across here, when the beam is holding up this, the weight is not only just going straight here and, and pulling up from there, but it's also pulling from here and from here. Um, it's very similar to the engineering that you would think of like building a house or something uh, with walls and, and beams and stuff like that. It's very, very similar actually. Um, so you have to think about it that way um, and how weight would be distributed. Um, but once you have that figured out, which isn't as hard as it may sound, um, then you'd have a very reinforced uh, structure, in this case, a wall. Um, so. Basically what I'm doing now is I'm going to fill in all of this right here with bricks and then I'm going to do another layer of just pure Technic bricks similar to what I did on the bottom here uh, across here and then we'll just, con oh, <laughs> well that brick went flying, um, but we'll continue to build up after that. But before I could build up, uh, you know, once I get all this done, I do need to do this side as well, just as I did this side. It should go a little faster on this side because this was kind of experimental and I know what I'm doing now. So this should go a little faster. So I have to build all of this, build this, and then we can build the wall up and be done with it. So that is the plan. So without ado, I'm going to continue to work and see how it turns out to be. So let's check it out. All right guys, so I've been working and I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that I've run out of this uh, Technic uh, lift bar, I guess is what it, they, uh, uh, at least that's what Brickling calls it, is a lift arm. But anyhow, I've run out of these and as you can kind of see, they're kind of essential. So <laughs> I, I don't know where my mind was when I was ordering these, but I didn't order enough. I already placed the order. They're already on the way actually. So they'll be here by next segment, by next week. So what that means is that we cannot finish the wall in this segment. So we can't do this over here. We can't connect this bar all the way across. Um, and therefore we just can't fill in any of this side. Um, so what I went ahead and did 
is I started, I built this up uh, like it like I would normally would with what, what we had going on here and I built this up as well, as you can see. And then I also put like this little layer here, but then I was like, you know what? I, I wanted to get the wall finished by this segment, but unfortunately it looks like it's gonna be next segment. But I wanted to show you what the final height of the wall is gonna be. Therefore, I built this little thing right here. This right here is the final height of this wall. And if we come around from it, you can just see how freaking massive this is gonna be. Um, just to give you a better idea, I know video kind of maybe makes it look at a, uh, make it smaller than what you're seeing, but that top right there is reaching right exactly at my eye level. So um, we're talking uh, from the ground at least. This is uh, five feet uh, above five feet right there from from the ground though. Uh, from the table, it's probably. I don't know, three-ish feet, maybe a little bit above three feet from the tabletop right here to the top of that. Um, and what's funny though, is it's gonna be taller than this, right? So we're gonna build up this uh, mountain, right? It's gonna get here, but I'm actually gonna build it a little bit taller, like maybe like three bricks, maybe, maybe three to six bricks taller than the wall, because I do wanna have some mountain stuff behind it if it's possible i'd like to do that i mean if it's not possible then it's whatever and if we put that little bit of brick above here that will literally reach the top of my head and it'll, this mock will literally be taller than me at least when it's standing on this tabletop for that case if you put it on the floor then obviously it wouldn't be a, uh, wouldn't be taller than me but on a tabletop it will be taller than me. <laughs> now, uh, to give you context, Kashyyyk was not that tall. Kashyyyk reached, uh, I would say, right about this height. So um, this mock will be bigger, at least taller-wise. It will be taller than Kashyyyk, not necessarily bigger. But uh, it should give you a good idea of how huge this is going to be. So basically, next segment, imagine this getting filled in all the way, uh, all the way along there. And then we have a lot of work to build up that in that side right there. Um, and then once we have those built, we can build this big beam I've been hyping up for the last couple of weeks. This big beam will go across, which will hold the central weight of the wall. It'll also, like I said, that'll allow me to build up here. You'll kind of see how it works. But what's even more you know, now I'm kind of thinking about it is I'm glad I'm doing this, these, all this Technic reinforcement on the sides because what's probably going to end up happening is there's going to be some type of support system. There's no way this can just free hang by these things. This is far too heavy. But there'll be some type of support system right here that'll be underneath this and this right here. And then you'll have the, the beam kind of holding this midsection. So you have support here, support here, because we definitely want this right here in the middle of the free hang. I think it'll be okay if there's some supports right here, if I hide them correctly at least. But even with all that, there will be the tendency for the wall to want to fall forward just because of the, the weight and how it's going to be distributed. Therefore, all these Technic beams, what that'll allow me to do is to build out, uh, I guess you could say, like um, outriggers almost, which, you know, if you, <laughs> fun fact, outriggers are a thing on a backhoe, which is one of those heavy machineries. You know, it has the, you know, bucket and stuff and you have those feet. You also see them on like cranes and stuff, but they're basically just feet that allow uh, whatever the heavy object to basically balance and, and, and stay where it's at. So imagine those on this wall for coming away from these Technic things that would attach to another big pillar that'll be here. I might have thrown some of you off, but basically it's just gonna securify the wall more in simple terms. <laughs> Um, that that's that's the point of the Technic stuff and you'll see as time goes on what I mean by that there'll basically be a big column right here that's attached to the mountain and will make sure that the wall doesn't fall forward um, while it's on its support system even with the giant beam so I hope that made sense to a lot of you I might have thrown some of you off and I might have used the wrong terminology but um, I'm trying here <laughs> but yeah no it, it it's good to know that this is the final height now. That's very useful. It, it kind of gives me perspective of like, okay, this is how kind of the mock's gonna be. Um, but geez, man, this, this mock is gonna be huge though. Like, just look at that right now. 
this thing is going to be taller than it are. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit taller than that. But like, gosh, that is crazy. Um, I'm, it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit, but I don't know. That's, that's very exciting. I always like to do bigger and better things. That's, that, that's definitely great right now. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I'm sad that we can't finish it. That's what the goal was for this segment was to basically fill in all of that right there. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So for the remaining uh, remainder of the video, I'm not going to leave it off on this. I am going to build a little bit more here and I'm also going to do a couple other things. So let's check out that right now. All right, so I, I did something a little ridiculous. <laughs> I made this right here, guys. Um, it's it's a little strange, I know. Um, so wh why did I make this? What's what's what is the point of this? This looks silly, right? Um, so basically, this is kind of just like a really. This is not final at all, um, but a really uh, quick little thing that I can figure out what the line of or like what the shape and wave of this mountain right here is going to be helps me figure that out and this is not even the final shape i don't even uh, personally like it but uh it also helps me realize that if i go you know too much this way or that way or whatever you can see how much it extends outwards and of course we want this basically to be closely aligned with the wall here and it's far exceeding that at the moment so it's a good visualization of like, all right, so this is what not to do, I guess. <laughs> but more importantly, actually, what, what I built this for is a lot of you might uh, have a hard time figuring out how to order parts. When, when you do get to the point of, you know, hey, I want to make this mock, you know, how much of what part do I need to make or do I need to order and what is too much, what is too little? One of the easiest ways is, is uh, especially when you're building like a mountain like this, is what I've done here. So simple math, basically, uh, 35 of these. So there's 35 of these individual um, uh, slopes, I guess. And then I, by building this, you can calculate, all right, there's, if you count all the bricks in here and of certain bricks, if you want to break it down even more than that, and also the slopes, then you just 35 times whatever of however many's in this. So let's say there's 17 slopes in here. You know, that's not even probably accurate. Let's, let's just say there's 40 slopes in here. So then you do 35 times 40. That's the number of slopes you need to order. Let's say there's, you know, this particular brick. Uh, what is this? A two by five by one uh, by one. Say you need, um, I don't know, I'll quickly count it actually. One, two, three, four. Uh, that is 6, 10, 11. Okay, so there's 11 here. So 11 times 35, whatever that number is. Do you? I think you guys get the point, basically. But that is how I will order parts, or at least get a rough estimate of, okay, this is how much I need to order from BrickLink, or wherever I'm uh, getting parts. It helps me figure out how much of what part I need. It's a good method. I did want to show this to you guys. Um, basically make a simple mock-up of just one little part of the mock, Calculate the amount of bricks in that, how far it's going to go along, and this can be applied to not just a, a mountain, but really anything. I could have applied it to the wall, I could have applied it to all of this, I could apply it to the trenches, really doesn't matter. Um, but it is simple math, but it works. It's something a lot of people overlook, especially when you order parts, people are just like, yeah, 500 of that, that should, that should be enough. Sometimes you overcalculate, sometimes you miscalculate, and you know, this is a helpful tip of avoiding that basically um it's it's an easy thing but uh, i know for sure that there is a lot of parts i have to order um that i don't have at the moment one particular part i'm going to be using is this right here this uh one by one by three um and the reason being is it's uh the approach I'm going to take with building this mountain right here is not to just fill it all in with bricks and build it up like I did uh, with Kashyyyk, but to actually make it as thin as possible while also being somewhat sturdy and so that, you know, you just don't touch it and, oh, there it goes, it falls back. I want to touch it and make sure it does not fall. So the idea here is to make this as slim as possible while also being uh, structurally sturdy. Um, and therefore you have to slim it down like this. This is a good example of what, I, what I'm thinking here. This isn't the most sturdy at the moment. Um, it'll probably be a couple bricks back thicker. And then as you can see, 
by just having this little area have this connection, it's standing up straight and it's somewhat sturdy. So basically, all you have to do is build up these big columns and then have a beam up here to hold all of this in place and it should be pretty structurally sturdy. Now you probably want a center beam and a top beam. You don't just want to have one beam at the top. So, or even more than that, the more beams the better. So you could have one here, 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 here. That's probably what I'm gonna do. There'll probably be uh, probably a beam here, probably a beam here. So there'll be about like three or four. And those would be your, uh, so you build like this, right? And then you have these beam, then you have things like this come out to these beams that you build. And that's what's gonna grass on and, ma and make the mountain more sturdy. While also leaving you a lot more room back here to build. And that room that I'm gonna leave back here is where gonna be caves and all that stuff. And then on top of all of that, you're saving yourself so much money in Lego by not just filling it all in. When you fill in all of the area with Lego, it costs a ridiculous amount of money, honestly. It, it, Lego bricks are not the cheapest, um, especially nowadays. So in order to conserve uh, your bricks and your money, <laughs> it's a good helpful tip to build light, to build smaller, and uh, structurally just have beams connecting everything together, similar to how you would build any building. Um, that is just my personal advice to you guys. I hope that helps. I did wanna share that with you guys. Um, but yeah, that, that, uh, that'll be out. I wanted to build more of the wall, but I think I'm running out of time. This video is going long. So one more thing and then we'll head out. All right guys, the last thing is I have Dylan here with me. Dylan, what's up? Um, so me and Dylan have been working for the last hour. We, this is my pile of salt pieces. I, I know they're not called salt pieces, um, but this is my pile that I've done and Dylan has done all of these in here. I'm very impressed, Dylan. Um, and we've just about run out of these little pieces right here. Um, I think Dylan's on the second to last one that we can do. Um, but you can see it's, what's great about these pieces is there's only five uh, key elements to making them, which makes it kind of easy in terms of ordering and, you know, having the parts available. You know, here's my big bag of these slots, which obviously is the, the main part of them. But um, basically all of these will go in there and they'll contribute and to the larger mock. Oh, you're finishing. Here, here we go. Here we go. Um, fin but, um, finishing but, uh, the last piece right here. One more piece. And there's the final tile. Ta-da! There we go. We are now, we can't make any more. <laughs> there's only one, uh, not two. But uh, there we go. Shame on you, Bricklink. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end it there, guys. You'll see where these go and these uh, next week. Hopefully by then we'll actually make some uh, even more than just this. Uh, right, Dylan? Mm-hmm. So uh, that, that'll be it, guys. We'll go ahead and end out the video. Let's go. All right, guys, so that was the segment. Um, I, I hope it was informative. Uh, that's kind of what the goal of the segment. I know it wasn't the most like, oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. Um, it wasn't, you know, that, that drastic amount of building like we've been doing with the trenches and, you know, covering all of this. That's definitely probably a little more exciting to a lot of you. But I do think that this video was very informative in terms of the ways of building uh, especially when you have large structures and how you need to reinforce them it's such a key thing i know it's not the most exciting thing but i really do think it is super super important it's like i said at the beginning of the video it's something that gets overlooked so i hope you guys take the time to maybe go back to this video or i hope that you learned something at least uh from this segment uh of if you're trying to build your own mocks especially on a bigger scale that you should reinforce certain things that you shouldn't just, you know, build around or, you know, all of that. You know, something funny is when I was doing that top layer, when we got up and, and started putting that Technic stuff, when I started to lay down those Technic bricks, you know, with all the, um, uh, with the pins in between the bricks and I, I was laying it down, you, I was starting to get gaps as I went longer. And these gaps occur because when you build Lego, you know, you just take, uh, use this as an example when you just do brick on brick on brick and you just keep stacking it there's going to be this slight uh air gaps that occur um like a, a it's hard to explain but basically you, you you get this kind of push in friction um and to avoid that you would make braces to avoid it trying to collapse or uh, kind of push onto itself in order to contain the weight that's what I was doing with uh, with crate was building these brackets or beams as I call them. Um, 
that that's helping that Lego from kind of pushing into each other. And that'll actually cause problems later if I didn't have done that um, in terms of building on the top area. And this, this is something actually occurred with Kashyyyk. I didn't really explain it too well when it was happening with Kashyyyk. So that's why I'm taking this segment to explain that. So again, I hope it was, imp uh, it was informative. Next week, I hope to get that wall done. I'm, I'm kind of just want to be done with it and, and work on other things with Crate. Um, uh, it looks cool, no doubt, but I definitely, there's other things to be done with Crate for sure. Um, so that will be the goal next week for sure. Also want to get these this this front trench done, and I really really want to make more salt pieces. Um, well, they're not really called salt pieces, but I call them that. But I really want to get the more of the battlefield uh, completed as we're working more on the back there for that way. There's a balance. Um, you know, I'd like to speed up the building crate, obviously, but um, it's it's you know getting bricklink orders in all the time. I can't throw hundreds of dollars at once and buy a bunch of everything it's usually incremental just because of how money works with me so unfortunately you know that's kind of causing crate to uh not be built as fast as some of you might want and i kind of talked about this a couple weeks ago i won't go too much in it again but that's why you might see like a slowdown and then it'll pick back up that's that's kind of what you're seeing right there um, but yeah, that, that's it guys. So I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. There's some other YouTube videos other than Crate coming out on my channel. So stay tuned. That'll be it guys. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.